didn't even notice, but I got 117 combat and 92 attack. That was a while ago, and I just, I don't know, sometimes I don't even notice my levels, but yes, we're starting episode 12, I believe, with 92 attack and 117 combat. I, I, this is the highest combat I have ever been. Alright, there's my 11th Jod kill. I thought I'd put a little bit of footage in there. Ugh, my heart always beats when I'm with Jod. Oh, new personal best, 43.57. I think I was only a few seconds um, faster than my last kill, so that's pretty dope. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to attack that. Well, let's kill this doohickey um, and then gamble this cape. Um, getting pretty good at Jad though. I'm really shocked. I mean, that Jad was a little bit difficult because he did the mage phase over and over and over, and I just did not expect that. But you know, getting good, so that that's great. I didn't mess up, and um, definitely a good thing. But let me turn off these sounds too now that I'm out of here. So let's gamble this cape. Um, just hope for the best. Do I just use it on him? I can't remember. Yes. Uh, bargain for the Jad. No, not lucky. We're st I'm still going to keep going for the Jad pet, and uh, I really enjoy Jad. And from this task alone, from this Jad task, I got 44k XP which, in Slayer, which is phenomenal. We're going to come up on 92 fletching. Very nice. I just want to get that out of the way because I was pretty close, you know, so very nice. Got that little extra level in there. First solo raid. Uh, the rotation is, uh, let me see what it was. It was Tightrope, Muted Isles, Lizard Shamans, and Skeletal Mystics. It's my first solo raid. I've never done a solo raid before. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've done 171 raids total. All of them were in groups, so we'll see how this goes. That the crab room by solo is absolutely awful. Um, that didn't take me as long as I thought it would, but Crab Room is definitely a really just not a good thing to do solo. That, I mean, you have to have a Dragon Warhammer, no doubt, or I think a hammer. Probably just Dragon Warhammer, but that was just too much, guys. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's really good that I'm learning this type of stuff. Let's see how long the first floor took me. 11 minutes. Not that bad, but pretty bad, but let's see how this goes. I think I'm going to have 9k points going into Ohm. Um, that's pretty good, I guess, for a solo. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I've never done a solo before, so this is going to be so interesting. True that, but I think it'll be just fine. Um, I may die once at home, maybe even twice, but you know what? Practice makes perfect, and I really wanted to start getting into solos because I, I don't know, I just want to do solos because not, people aren't always available, and also you don't have to worry about other people getting drops, so, um, Definitely going to start doing this more often. Going in with my range gear, I've never done Ohm in a solo before. I regret not bringing an extra stamina, but, you know, I'm not that good yet. So, um, definitely, though, um, the staminas will be needed when I solo next time. But let's go ahead and give Ohm a try. I finish Ohm. Oh my gosh, I finished the ohm. 11k points, awful solo, honestly. In an hour and eight minutes, ah, absolutely awful. Um, but you know what? The only way to really get good at solos is by practicing. Um, that was my first one ever. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. That was pretty awful, but we'll see what we can do, guys. I just wanted to put that first experience on vid. Um, hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing that, but um, pretty awful. Um, kind of learned that first solos are dreadful. So thanks for watching. Here I have all of my alcohols that I need to do. Um, I have no idea how much this is worth. Obviously the alk value is not going to be the same as OS Buddy or the Grand Exchange, but we're just going to go ahead and get an estimate and put them all in here. Um, basically, it's just been stuff sitting in my bank that really needs to be out, including the battle stabs, of course, which I've slowed down a ton. I have not been doing as many battle stabs as I usually do. 
but that alone right there, 7.9 mil, so around 8 mil, but that will be a huge add-on to my cash stack alone. And this does not include um, any of the alcohols I have up here. Um, I kind of stack these items. Uh, for example, 5 mil is in this stack alone. I'm not going to touch those. Um, and then we have 20 or 1 mil right here. Um, but yeah, that will be another 8 mil, so that would be like a little bit above 16 mil maybe, more or less. But um, I'll hopefully out these tomorrow and get an agility level. We're getting um, 83 agility. Golly, agility is so slow. But very nice, we got the Brimhaven Dungeon shortcut. Um, so that's good. And the funny thing is I out, out all of my alcohols, which is really nice. I have a, um, about 400k that I already have in the bank. So that was about 8 points. Yeah, about 8 mil, more or less. So that was pretty good. And uh, I find that I'm o I am only enjoy agility, agility when I'm alking or really watching the show. Uh, here we are at 86 Herbler. Very, very nice. I think I have 87 banked. Um, 90 would be really awesome so I can make the overload pluses for raids, but I think that will still be quite a long time from now. But um, I'm hoping to get some more supplies and get 86 out, uh, knocked out eventually. I cannot believe I did not get this on recording. Um, my mother used my computer today, but I got a Kodai insignia on raid 176. Um, I know this is just... I don't know what to say other than um, pretty much this is such a shocking thing. I mean, I got the drop and I thought I was recording, but I didn't have OBS up. Um, I was doing a duo with my friend Mezeroth. I ended up dropping him 5.5 mil just out of courte being courteous because that's a 101 mil drop and he's a, a main account. And um, that was really nice of him to duo with me and I, I, I truly cannot believe um, that I got that, but that breaks the 80 raid dry streak of seeing anyone get a drop, and that also made my bank go up 101 mil, um, so that was huge. Um, my cash stack went down a phenomenal amount because I did give Mez, um, you know, 5.5 mil due to the fact that he was really nice and said congratulations and i know if he would have gotten a coda he would have given me given me a bond you know just to be nice so i don't have the master wand so this this means i'll go back to mage arena and try to knock that out but um yeah definitely that's an amazing drop to think that that could have been a twisted bow the coda is the same drop rate as a twisted bow guys i i I don't even know what to say. That's just absolutely incredible. Um, it's also like I think the second or third most expensive raid item you can get. But see, when you go 80 raids dry, things work out in the end. Um, golly, guys. Um, and what's funny is I studied all day for an exam, and I was like, I'm gonna do two raids tonight, and there it is on a duo, a Kodai insignia. 